Increasingly, the benefits of polygonal modelling are becoming more and more apparent within automotive design, a field traditionally accustomed to clay and NURBS modelling. Since its inception, Modo's innovative polygon modelling tools have become highly regarded in a variety of industries, including automotive. But most importantly, as a designer, it's how you interact with those tools that's really compelling. Modo's default UI splits its toolset into defined areas of activity, providing you with a dedicated modelling environment. But it's important to realise that Modo's UI is completely customizable. Unique viewport setups can be created, tools can be accessed from pop-up menus, hotkeys or fly-out menus, and models can be displayed in ways that either aid model interaction or surface evaluation via viewport shaders or even real-time rendering. Modo's UI is designed so that it can become as unique as you are, but importantly how you approach the modelling process can be equally unique. For example, edge modelling is an approach to polygon modelling that has a lot in common with NURBS curve-based modelling. It relies on a set of known hard points that you define and then work from. These hard points can be defined in many ways. Elevation drawings with embedded alpha channels can be brought into the viewport to provide reference structures. Engineering criteria packages that include glass side sweeps, wheels, vision angles and seating packages can be either defined in Modo or brought in from other applications via Modo's preset browser. Profile presets can be utilised whilst running many tools and can provide a good starting point for wheel rims. Even full rigs can be developed that can provide an almost infinite number of parametrically driven hard points that can underpin the construction process. With your hard points in place you can start modelling. The pen tool is a multifaceted tool that is perfect for defining an initial silhouette. That silhouette can then be extruded, but the true power of Modo's modelling tools lie in their underlying architecture. Falloffs, for example, allow you to adjust given areas of a model in a controlled way by defining an area of influence. While a tool is running, they remain interactive, so subtle adjustments can be made. There are many falloff types to choose from. For example, a linear falloff allows for individual spans to be precisely sculpted using different falloff shapes. A cylinder falloff allows for large areas of a model like roof lines to be defined quickly. And an element falloff allows you to perform hard or soft edits by defining an area of influence as you're working. This allows for fast and intuitive editing and reduces the need for you to touch every point. Action centers are another important concept in Modo. These act as dynamic modeling pivots, allowing you to define a tool handle's location and orientation on the fly. For example, by changing the action center to selection, you effectively create a construction plane aligned to the surface of a given polygon. An element allows you to align a tool to any part of the model and adjust any selected geometry relative to it. The possible combinations of falloffs and action centers are almost endless, allowing you to adapt tools to given situations on the fly. And this concept, above all others, is what defines the Modo modelling experience. But Modo also has a raft of cutting-edge poly-editing tools. Edge loops or spans can be quickly added and slid through the surface while respecting the curvature of that surface. Multiple polygons can be quickly sliced to define new polyflows through an existing polygon structure. Large areas can be intelligently bridged with the correct number of connecting spans calculated automatically and by simply spinning an edge, completely different surface topologies can be experimented with. The polygon surface can at any time be converted into a subdivision surface and toggled back and forth as you work. To help build real tension into a design, crisp character lines can be defined with edge weighting. By applying a value to an edge, it will be pulled closer to its control points, creating a sharp line in the surface. This value can also be applied with a falloff to create subtle washouts and by controlling the resolution of the surface, subtle filleting can be achieved. But Modo is much more than just a modelling application. It also includes its own state-of-the-art production renderer, which includes an interactive preview. This allows you to see the result of any modelling change immediately within a physically-based HDRI environment, allowing you to create both image and model simultaneously. But what if you don't have beautifully drawn elevations to start from? What if you just have an emotional three-quarter sketch or speed form idea? In this situation, you might want to consider a different approach. With Modo's many creative tools, you can work in ways that allow you to discover forms and structures that you might not have considered otherwise. Forms that can then provide the base for a paint over or future modeling concept. Another technique is box modeling. This is a process of starting with a rough low resolution volume and then gradually refining it until you arrive at the desired shape. 
a process more akin to the way a sculptor would work. By starting with some known hard points and a cube, the cube can be broken down and deformed using Modo's fall-off tools to arrive at a rough volume and silhouette. Then by using Modo's powerful poly-editing tools, details can be teased out of the shape until a final concept is arrived at. Whatever technique you use, you'll arrive at a volume that then requires details to be added. For quick visualisation, Modo's painting tools can be used to either sketch details directly on the surface, or to project pre-made artwork onto specific areas. For a more three-dimensional approach, Mesh Fusion can be used. This allows you to non-destructively join objects or punch holes into a surface while maintaining the surface's continuity. This is perfect for experimenting with grill positions, ornamentation or functional part lines. Mesh Fusion is useful in any situation where a Boolean-based approach may be favourable. Objects like dashboards, centre consoles, steering wheels and wheel rims can be visualised in a short amount of time. What's particularly useful is the ability to non-destructively change the filleting within the Boolean allowing you to interactively adjust the flow of light through a transition. More organic forms such as seats and fabric panels can be modelled with Modo's integrated sculpting tools. These allow you to build subtle imperfections into a surface and create tension around stitch lines. But modelling is not always about creating things from scratch. The ability to reverse engineer designs from existing vehicles is also an incredibly important process. Within a dedicated UI layout, Modo contains many tools dedicated to this process of retopology. Using an imported STL file as a reference mesh, any new geometry will be created on that surface and remain true to it. A good starting point is the topology sketch tool. This allows you to paint a strip of polygons of a desired width and density quickly across a surface. From this strip you can then grow the surface in many ways. The topology pen allows you to quickly extend individual edges and points and also whole edge loops. It's a multifunctional tool that also allows you to add edge loops and slide them across the surface. When utilising the tweak tool you're able to intuitively dial in the new geometry and the smooth tool allows you to smooth out any imperfections in that geometry. Large compound surfaces can be covered quickly using the bridge tool. By defining two adjacent edges it will fill the gap with the correct number of spans and connect them automatically whilst maintaining the curvature of the underlying surface. Predefined shapes can also be projected onto the surface and then slid across it, which is ideal for defining surface details. And finally, the contour tool allows you to define any number of sections through a model, either at grid or any custom view. These can then be exported and used by engineering to check the feasibility of the design against the design package or a competitive vehicle. The ability to export anything you've created is incredibly important, and in Modo you have different options. As well as a wide variety of polygon formats, Modo can also convert a subdivision surface into a NURBS surface. This conversion process captures any sculptural edge weighting in the model, maintaining the emotional design intent. This provides downstream teams with a luxury scan that can be used for rendering, 3D printing and aerodynamic testing. Whichever method you choose, you can be sure that with the pressure to deliver design concepts at greater speed, to iterate more frequently, and to present designs in more compelling ways, Modo is a tool that delivers.